The first thing to do with any retrofit, in this case, a Morimoto Mini retrofit, is to park the car about 20 feet from a flat wall. From there, we're gonna turn the halogen headlamps on, and we're gonna mark the cutoff and the steps in the headlight pattern. From there, we remove the headlights for disassembly. Today we're going to go over the order of assembly for the Morimoto Mini D2S projector into a reflector bowl. First you want to remove any of the glare caps, miscellaneous hardware from the reflector bowl. Once you've disassembled the hardware from the back of the Mini D2S projector, leave on this silicone crush washer. I've painted the reflector bowl here, so you just install it like this, lead the wires through, and make sure the solenoid is on the bottom at 6 o'clock. Okay, so looking at the reflector bowl from the back, you'll see this ridge here, and that is where this goes. This is the H4 adapter plate. The notch is going to go along the top here. And it sits in where the H4 bulb base went before. Next is the silicone washer. Once you slip that on, then goes the lock ring. Tighten this as far as you can by hand. Once you can no longer tighten it, you'll take a wrench and tighten it all the way. Now that we have the projector installed into the reflector bowl, here's some quick tips before you complete your installation. With the soft lock ring on the back, be sure that you don't tighten it down until you're completely finished with the installation because it will deform intentionally to hold the projector in place. Also, before you complete the installation and install the reflector bowl back in the headlight, use a soft microfiber towel to clean any fingerprints, dust off of the surface of the lens. Also, during installation, make sure you don't bump the solenoid assembly or the cutoff shield to ensure its proper function for long-term use. Also, we recommend using a 9-volt battery or an assembly something like this to test fire the solenoid to ensure proper function. You're going to want to test fire this 30 to 40 times to be absolutely sure before you seal everything back up that it works properly. You'll be able to hear and see the shield move and ensure that it's not stuck. And again, you want to do this 30 or 40 times to make sure it's functioning properly before you seal back up your headlights. Simply slide the shroud on like so, make sure it's flush with the projector, and you're good to go. You want to make sure you take a microfiber cloth like this and clean off any fingerprints that you got on during installation as well before you seal the headlights up. Now we're going to go over installing the D2S bulb in the Mini D2S Morimoto projector. So what you'll want to do first is take your alcohol pad, make sure you clean the bulb for any fingerprints, dust, anything like that before installation. So you install the bulb in the back of the Mini D2S projector with the ceramic wire facing down. And lock into place snugly like so. And then first, goes on the lock ring. It'll slip on over one tab, and you want to spin it, and over the other tab, like that. Next goes the silicone lock washer with the angled end facing down. like so. Then you install the bulb cap. And you're going to tighten that down hand tight. Like this. Then when you're finished, you want to install the rubber booties onto the wire. This keeps water from getting inside the connector.
and they go in the 9006 connector like so. We have to pull the shielding back just a little bit to install this.